Joanna, thank you so much for giving us some time to be on, on eCancer. Tell us your name and what you do in, uh, in Romania. Thank you for inviting me to participate to this uh, important meeting. And uh, my name is uh, Joana Berindan Neagoe. I'm actually the scientific director of the Oncology Institute in Cluj Napoca, which is named Ion Kirikutsa after the founder of the institute. And uh, I'm also involved in uh, education in University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Cluj Napoca in Immunology Department. Sure. And you're involved in the organization for the European Cancer Institutes, the OECI. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you hosted a very, very uh, innovative and uh, risky meeting in, uh, in, uh, in Romania, in Cruj. It's strange you say risky. On molecular risky. pathology, but uh, it was a massive success. Tell us about it. It's uh, strange you say risky because it is the same idea uh, which I started uh, practical the course in Cluj, uh, telling to Angelo Paradiso, who helped me so much in um, this uh, education course in Cluj, uh, that he risked to come um, in Cluj, uh, but it's uh, actually the third time we are organizing together with OACI this meeting. We started in 2008, then 2010, and uh, this year. And uh, I think that uh, which each, uh, each uh, manifestation, we have a uh, greater success, uh, considering also the quality of people from Romania and abroad participating uh, as a physician, molecular biologist, pathologist uh, uh, at this meeting, but also with a great number of important speakers which accepted to come uh, uh, to visit our institute, to participate as speaker in the meeting, and also to see our beautiful country. Uh, what is also very important for the meeting in this year is the fact that it was organized uh, together with uh, OACI and the European School of Oncology, who practically joined us uh, by some people who helped me and who were also invited speaker. And uh, the topics of uh, the of this meeting was also very um, up to date, let's say. Why? Because uh, people coming from uh, Western Europe and also from US, they uh, had the opportunity to show us where we are and what they do, uh, considering the technologies which we have to implement, considering the value we have in biobanking, mm -hmm. because if you consider OACI and you look on the map, you are going to see that all the Central and Eastern European countries, they have this great fortune, this great potential of uh, large archive of uh, tissue embedded in paraffin, but also they can have the ability and the possibility to put, uh, to form new biobanks with frozen uh, tissue. And uh, why this is important? Because we have all the clinical data mm. for our patients. We have all the follow-up of the response to treatment. We can look to uh, drug resistance. We can look to specific molecules which can be um, evaluated by molecular profiling in patients from this part of uh, Europe. And why I say molecular profiling? Because in Cancer Institute in Cluj, we actually do molecular profiling. We do gene microarray and uh, we are able to look for uh, breast cancer subtypes uh, on one hand, on colorectal and prostate cancer. And it's uh, very important for future collaboration that all these Central and Eastern uh, European countries to put together their power and uh, their interest to become uh, better and better and to uh, become a part of the cooperation and collaboration at the level or, of OACI together with countries like uh, UK or um, France or Germany where we are now. Uh, so I think that this can become one of the major focus of uh, the working group of uh, molecular pathobiology and biobanking as well as, as uh, those which is chaired by Angelo Paradiso. Uh, to put the strand of Western Europe in the middle of uh, Eastern Europe and to start really to collaborate and to build consortium and projects together. And uh, this was very interesting also at the level of meeting in Cluj because people coming from Western Europe, and also, I mean all the speakers, they were impressed also by the quality of Romanian speakers mm -hmm 
And uh, they ask why, if we look, we look uh, to you as individuals, uh, you are so good, why you cannot create together consortium and collaboration with us? And uh, I think that here it's maybe a lack of communication between two sides of Europe, if you consider like that. And I think that we have to continue and also maybe to do it uh, more often than once in two years, and not only in Cluj, in Romania, which is already a tradition, but also in some other important places in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, and I think maybe we can consider to organize this kind of, uh, mm. of meetings. So, 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 I mean, my vision of OECI, and I've been in it for 25 years, I suppose, uh, longer than that, 30 years, uh, is that, that really uh, the, the whole point of it is to help your institutions from you to the east. Absolutely. With the resources uh, from uh, you to the west. Uh, there are not cleverer people in the west than there are in the east. In fact, in some areas, quite the opposite. And, and you're quite right. In my view, uh, one of the big challenges that I have in the cancer, which is the official journal, of yeah. OACI yeah. is uh, to help that communication happen. Absolutely. And, and, and you would be uh, saying to the board of OACI, uh, let's have more meetings in, in, in my part of the world and, and, yeah. and, for, and, yeah. and out towards the east. I think this would be terrific and I think that, uh, that the board will, will listen to that. They will have to listen to that, otherwise uh, they'll lose a member. Thank you for supporting uh, <laughs> our struggle for this kind of meeting and um, I'm sure that the, uh, the Western Europe shall um, see and shall understand that really Eastern Europe have something to give sure, to them. Absolutely. So we just need to stay together and to communicate. Fantastic. And this meeting was great from this point of view because we stay together for three days. Mm -hmm. uh, and OACI meeting like this one, it's also very important for us at least. Sure, sure. Johanna, thank you very much indeed. I hope we'll interview you at subsequent OACI meetings. Thank you very and much. Congratulations on a good meeting. Thank you.